Hey, what's going on YouTube? It's Don from Nova Spirit. And do you guys have a lot of USBs laying around that are too old to store anything like one gig, two gig? Well, what we're gonna be doing today is actually joining them together using software RAID with our Raspberry Pi. So let's get started. As far as the prerequisites, um, if you're coming from another video, which is the NAS file server, then you're pretty much set. But if you need to set up everything, go check out that video. I'm going to leave a card up on top and a link in the descriptions below. It's going to teach you how to install Raspbian and also install Web Admin. Well, what we're going to want to do first is actually log into our PuTTY and um, install LVM, which is Logical Volume Manager. And that's what's going to co uh, create our software RAID. So I'm going to log in here, sudo apt-get install lvm2. Now it's not large, it's going to install actually pretty quick. While we're waiting for that, uh, obviously we're going to need to log into webmin and check all our stats out. Um, now after that has been installed, we're going to need to refresh our modules. Alright, now we're going to head over to webmin and refresh modules. This actually will take a minute so you could walk away for a minute and come back. Alright, now that everything's loaded, you go into hardware and you're gonna see a new option called Logical Volume Manager. That's where we need to go. In here all you're gonna have to do is just follow the steps. Add a new volume group. Call it USB Thumb I guess. And in here I'm gonna choose other devices. Now if you go back to your SSH session, you could actually do ls slash dev slash sd star. And you're gonna see that there's two partitions because I have two uh, USB uh, drives in there. So the first one I'm gonna do is dev sda create. So it's gonna create the first logical volume basically, or the first uh, logical group, the volume group. You see? Now, now that I have my USB thumb, 560, which is one gig, I'm gonna go to a physical volume, next tab over basically, add a physical volume to USB thumb. And here, we're just gonna put in slash dev sdb. Add to group. Just give it one minute. And then next, you go to the logical volume and you could create a logical volume in USB thumb. Now what this is going to do is basically take the two volumes and group them together. And I'm going to call this storage. You can call it anything you want. And the next thing I'm going to do is percentage of volume group size which is 100% because I want to use all of the space. Create. And that's only going to take a few minutes to um, actually not a few minutes, a few seconds to put that together. And you're going to be able to click on the storage device format it to the type that you want which is going to be ext3 I'm not really using this for journaling so you don't need ext4 I'm just going to use it for storage create the file system type which again it will only take a few seconds and then when this is all done after formats it and you know in Windows when you format it takes a bit this is going to have the same um, uh, situation and right, now that it's done you go back to return to volume group and mount it. So we're gonna have to click here on the storage again and then mount logical volume on so you could click here and find the folder. Where I'm actually gonna mount it on is gonna be on media because I didn't really create a folder yet so I'm gonna just mount it directly to media. I could actually create a folder uh, using one of these services over here which is system and then uh, disk and network but just to argument's sake, I'm just going to put it onto media. Everything leave as default and you hit create. Now it's mounted your LVM volume group USB thumb LV logical volume storage onto media. Now if I go over to my SSH session and I hit type in DF H, it will list that I have 2.8 gigs on. Uh, the folder called media. So now that's how you create your software RAID and mount it into your Raspberry Pi.
All right, guys, so there we have it. We joined two USBs together. And um, keep in mind that this methodology also works on hard drives. So I've got USB hard drives. You can stick them in the Raspberry Pi, join them together to make a bigger file stack, and use them for your NAS. If you enjoyed this episode, please hit that like button. Also, uh, share this video and subscribe. That helps me a lot. And don't forget, hack till it hurts.